Hey, Tim here with PT Progress, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 questions you might hear during a physical therapy school interview. Let's take a look. Hey, this video is brought to you by the PT School Interview Guide, a complete resource that gives you the insider's look on how an average student like myself was accepted into the number one physical therapy school program in the country. In this guide, we take a look at the actual essays I use, and we lay out the strategies for answering some of the toughest interview questions you'll hear. It's a great resource on how to ace your interview the first time around so you can get into the PT school of your dreams. Of course, in this video, we'll dive into the top 10 questions I heard during my PT school interviews, but I would highly encourage you to take a look at the link below to access the PT school interview guide so you can stand out from the rest of the 20,000 students applying for the 10,000 seats in PT school. It's getting real competitive out there, folks, so let's dive right into the top 10 questions you're probably going to hear during your PT school interview. Now, the first question you'll probably hear is, tell us a little bit about yourself. No, they don't want to hear about your cat, your hometown, or your favorite foods. This answer needs to be one of the most buttoned up responses that you've rehearsed over and over. It's basically like your elevator pitch, and it can be used to segue into other interesting parts of uh, why you're a good candidate. So take some time and really map out the answer to this question. You can also take a look at the video, How to Craft an Elevator Pitch, to get started with your own 30-second elevator pitch. The second question you might hear is this, what made you decide to apply to our program? You've gotta get specific here, so do your homework and come prepared with real examples of why you think this program is a good fit for you. Number three is this question. There are many health-related careers. Why do you wanna become a physical therapist? And please, 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 please don't say because I want to help people. You see, bankers help people, real estate agents help people, nurses help people. You need to come up with a clear answer on why you want to be a physical therapist. And if you have a hard time doing this, then you really should start by lifting out the reasons on a bullet point form. And if the only thing is that you can think of is, I want to help people, then you need to shadow a physical therapist a little bit more so you can come up with an actual answer. The fourth question is this. What can you offer to the graduate program and or the profession? They're basically asking you to tell them why you're different from everybody else. Are you motivated, driven, eager to learn and give back, not only to the program, but to the profession? What have you done in the past that supports this? Now, these are all things to think about when you prepare the answer to this question. Number five, can you provide an example of how you've handled a stressful situation in the past? Ah, these are situational questions and they're the best. They could also be really difficult to answer if you don't prepare. So I highly recommend that you use the STAR approach for answering behavioral based interview questions. Take a look at the link below for an entire article on how you can answer these behavioral based questions using the STAR approach. Number six is this. What areas of physical therapy have you experienced? If you've only experienced outpatient physical therapy, you really should diversify your experience by shadowing a physical therapist in the hospital, in the neuro setting, or even in the home health setting if you have the opportunity to do so. Number seven, what strengths do you have that will enable you to become a successful physical therapist? I think when programs ask this, they are looking to see how well you can share your thoughts and if you can give examples to back them up. Use examples here and back up your statements with stories. Now, all of these are strategies that I give within the PT School Interview Guide, so it's just another plug to check out the guide. I think you'll find it to be really helpful. Number eight is this. What would you do if one of your classmates was caught cheating? This is another example of a situational or behavioral-based question, so they can be surprisingly difficult for people to answer if they don't have a good framework for answering the questions. While it may seem really easy on the surface, this question itself has a little bit of a nuance to it, so take your time in coming up with an answer because there's a balance with taking time to answer a question and lingering too long if you can't think of that answer. Number nine, if you don't get into a PT program, what are your plans? The point with this question is to see how you prepare for the unknown. Be careful with questions like these because it might be tempting to inject some humor or a pithy comment like, well, I don't plan on being rejected from PT school, or, well, I plan to get in this first year, so I don't really have any plans otherwise. It can come across as arrogant. So like the other questions, take your time and think about the way you would answer this ahead of time. Number 10, do you have any questions for us? Now, this might be one of the most important questions in the interview. I recommend that you have at least three to five questions specific to the program, ready to ask at the end of your interview, because there's a good chance that one or two of those questions are gonna be answered during your interview through just conversations you have with the people across the table. So have a few prepared, write them down, and, and try not to sit there at the end of the interview looking like a deer in the headlights, unprepared, when they ask you the question, do you have any questions for us? Okay, that's it, that's the top 10 questions you might hear at a physical therapy school interview. If you found this video to be helpful, I would love it if you like it below. Also, if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.